Jones. <laughs> I was wondering when you'd show up. Not that I'm a stalker or anything. I totally saw you heading my way. So, what's on your mind? You miss me? Like there was any doubt. I knew it wouldn't be long once I got the signal boosted. Ha ha, flattery will get you. Everywhere! I knew there were reasons I let you live. Well, seeing as how you're such a nice person, I think I could pull off a little favor. That group you're talking about is run by this gal named Meg. I saw him head in about the same time as those other folks at Spruce Knob. If you want to talk to Meg, you gotta get on her good side. And I'm pretty sure I can swing it. Meg thinks she's pretty tough since she ran off on Margie. She wasn't even around to see the end of it all. Bet she's loving the fact that they belled at the perfect time. So she's bound to be way up on her high horse right about now. Just a couple of hard-working losers. You know, the kind we like to refer to as suckers. They're giving Spruce Knob a real makeover, too. Putting up walls, rearranging furniture. That's a prime target, if you ask me. I thought you'd never ask. First, a peace offering. David had a trophy as a symbol of his leadership. You get that into Meg's hands, it's like passing the torch, right? Next, I'm gonna draw her ass out here with an extra special broadcast. Problem is, I need to access some old memory banks that David sealed off. He was an emotional guy. I get it. But I need you to find his original program. Which, I'm pretty sure he stashed at Rosalind's memorial. Surprised? Sure, he may have killed and maimed a few people, but that doesn't mean he ain't got feelings. I'm pretty sure that's how this whole memorial thing came about. Eh, just some old thing Rosalind made for David when they made him leader. You know, sappy romantic stuff. Ever since then, it's been like his own symbol of power. Yeah, about that. David sort of didn't want anyone to know about the memorial. He thought the others would think he'd gone soft, and well, he probably wasn't wrong. So, hope you like playing detective. You gotta get to David's room, get the trophy, and then find something that'll tell you where that memorial is. I ain't saying you'll have to trash the place, but you may have to trash the place. Easy peasy, right? Nah, not high up on my list of things to do. I'm just here to keep them coming. Besides, I'm cutthroat for life, and I got my little buddy here to keep me company. Eh, this will always be home. I can't leave top of the world. That'd be like betraying David, and we both know that'll never happen. Also, I may have pissed off Meg once or twice back in the day. I mean, probably more, but who's counting, right? Besides, I got the best view in town, and I'm pretty sure that white crap blowing around in the valley would be hell on my filters. Lead? <laughs> no way! Just thinking about that responsibility makes me twitch. I got the band back together to watch, not to manage the tour. Plus, now that they're pouring in, you can bet Appalachia just got a whole lot more entertaining. And I got the best seat in the house. Doubtful. Meg's probably keen on carving out her own territory, and the crater does look pretty sweet. Minus all that powdery white crap. Eh, this'll always be cutthroat territory to her anyway, and no one wants a hand-me-down. 
Well, duh. I mean, when it comes to being a raider, I'm sort of the best there is, so that's a no-brainer. <sighs> Back to business, just how I like it. Ready to hop on that trophy and AI program? I knew I could count on you, and I swear this will work. The shack alone will have Meg come looking around. Search! David's trophy? Pretty cool, right? Once Meg sees that, she's gonna know you mean business. She may have been a diehard, but they all started under David. Every single one of them. Even the gourmands would have killed for that trophy. 
Those cutthroats had all the power and they knew it. And that trophy was the biggest symbol of them all. Nice to see it still in one piece. Hope we can say the same for Rosalind's memorial in that AI program. Wherever you are. I promise, I don't want your money. Just...
shabby, especially since it's David we're talking about here. So now, you'll have to repair that holotape, and there's only one place I can think of that may still have a functioning terminal to do it. It's out at Solomon's Pond. I know, I know, you're thinking, what's tech like that doing out at such a cutesy little wilderness place? Let's just say some seriously intrusive operations went down there, so I'm pretty sure it's got just what we need.
starting to get bored, too. Hope you managed to repair that old holotape. Knows. Like I said, that guy was sensitive. Not everyone needs a constant reminder of their baggage. Ugh, they were into each other. David was never able to recover her body, so he made the memorial in secret. Didn't really want the others to see him all soft like that. First off, it's a whole lot of crap on David and Rosalind. I'm thinking it's like action-adventure meets romantic comedy, but not a good romantic comedy, you know? The kind that makes you want to puke. Second, it's the code I need to unlock some sealed-off memory banks that David didn't want me to access, but couldn't bring himself to delete. As usual, so reliable. I love it. I gotta admit, I've got some pretty mixed feelings on tapping into all these blocked files. On one hand, I'm sure David had his reasons for cutting me off. On the other, I'm pretty sure this would be a whole new world of entertainment for me. You know, you're right. I definitely deserve to know. Now, just give me a second. Leak, loop, lorp, I'm a computer. Ugh, oh my god, talk about some serious drama here. This is some depressing shit. I mean, I knew David never got to say goodbye, but he really did hide what he went through. Ugh, like a soap opera on overdrive. You know, boring stuff that no one cares about. Getting over his dead wife and kids, Rosalind helping him keep it together. Oh, David finally getting ready to propose to Rosalind. <gasps> Ooh, then being devastated over losing her. David drinking himself into a stupor. You know, all sorts of crap no one wants to be reminded of. Obviously, he talked about it with me. Silly. He just didn't want me to remember, so blocked off all those memories. That's why I needed that program, to access those sealed off conversations. And by creating a yours truly, of course. <laughs> oh, and blowing the shit out of the Summersville Dam. <laughs> Who doesn't love some good old fashioned revenge, right? Okay, moving right along. Okay, now where was I? Oh yeah, the plan. Let me just run some filters, a little arts and crafts, and... <gasps> Are you kidding me? All this data and I don't have the one word I was looking for? <sighs> okay, hate to break it to you, but I need you to go back out there and find me just one more itty teeny weeny hollow tape. Best bet is Arctos Pharma, David's old corporate stooge job. I need you to find me a holotape with David saying the word negotiate. Yep, no negotiate, no compromise. It was his way or the highway. It's part of what made him such a badass leader. Just using my amazing skills to put together a little broadcast for Meg with David's voice. If she thinks there's even a chance that David's still alive, I guarantee she'll come running. Not because she likes him or anything. Ugh, gross. But if David pulled through and she bailed, she knows he'll be out for her. My hero. Now get out there and don't get yourself killed. Did I just say that? <laughs> it makes me feel like a mom.
state nuisance. Glad that's done with. A note to self, book tickets to Pleasant Valley, also book to D.C. in case Rita bothers to check up on me. Oh yeah, and tell Rita to fire that cook what's-her-name, because she completely ignored my express distaste of pickles. Pretty sure she does it on purpose at this point. All right, folks, these terms are ridiculous. Absurd, even. I'm not signing until we see at least 80% profit. These terms are perfectly reasonable. Since when are environmental laws and fair wages ridiculous and absurd? Since they take away 30% of the profits we're set to gain, Lawrence. You can talk to me about fair wages when you give up your bonus. Come on, David. We need to wrap up this deal. Our partners are getting impatient. There has to be room for negotiation here. I'll be the one who says when it's time to negotiate here. Our partners are only impatient because they need this deal more than us. They just hope we don't realize it. Now go back to your desks and figure out how to get me that 80%, or I'll find someone else who can. Leadership skills, charisma. David was a full package, really. Not to mention just a whole lot of tall, dark, and handsome. I think it did him some good to finally blow off some real steam. You know how corporations and their HR are big fans of murder. Ooh, I gotta admit, I don't have many files on David and Rosalind talking about their pre-Raider days, so this will be pretty... Interesting. I'll just give it a quick listen. Yep, sounds like David, all right. <sighs> Ruthless even then. Getting back to business, a little slice and dice, some audio love, and voila! Mission accomplished. All you gotta do now is take a quick trip to the nearby relay tower and set up a new transmitter to get this bad boy broadcasting.
Look, I need a new transmitter hooked up. I ain't gonna sacrifice my own signal just so you can get some face time with Meg. Oh, just using a holotape to set up a new connection so I can transmit this message. Nothing fancy. Oh yeah, I heard that old Duchess lady's radio signal start up a while back. <laughs> I should have known that was you. Here's the program you'll need to run at the relay tower. Just load it up and follow directions. I mean, it doesn't get any easier than this, really. And here, as a token of my gratitude, you can have this old holotape back as a souvenir. Remote transmitter connected. Beginning recorded message loop. Hey, uh, Meg. Listen up. I'm David fucking Thorpe. Get your ass over here. Top of the world is where it's at. Mezzanine. It's time to negotiate. Or I will kill every last one of you. Hey, Meg. Listen up. Broadcast loop confirmed. Congratulations. Your transmitter is now connected. <laughs> is that great or what? Anyway, confession time. Sure, I could have got Meg out here lickety split. I mean, don't get me wrong. She really ain't my biggest fan. But believe me, this broadcast, way more fun. Now, you probably want to haul ass back to the mess, because uh, something down there is making all the racket. <laughs>
can't find. What the hell is this? Where's Thorpe? Bullshit. I'm only here for David. If that bastard survived, I want to see him. Now where is he? You got that old diaper pail on your side? So who the hell are you? Don't tell me you're one of those worthless settlers. Holy shit, a vault dweller! Even better. You come scurrying out of your little cubby hole, and you think you can start making demands? Think again. Excuse me. Boy, you got some fire in you, I'll give you that. <laughs> and maybe... Maybe we might owe you that. So, 7-6, what's this all about? David's trophy, huh? Wow, it must be dead. Or turn tail if you've managed to get your hands on it. Huh, I take it this means you recognize me as leader around here. Hmm, smart. Looks like you've got yourself a brain after all. Seeing as how I'm feeling generous, I'll spare you a minute to tell me what you want before I get back to retaking Appalachia. Uh-uh. You don't get to talk to me about that. We lost everything to that disease while you were all sitting pretty underground. Inoculation? That's just some bullshit the responders made up to sucker the weak out of their supplies. Didn't fall for it then? Sure as shit ain't falling for it now. Efficacy, huh? <laughs> Maybe you do know what you're talking about, but I don't know. I got my own straight-line solution. Kill them all. Got a raid against a group of Scorch going down right now. Why don't you head on over? See a real plan in action. What are you talking about? Yeah, so we might lose a couple people. So what? We got numbers. Hmm, man. Shit, you're right. Just repeating the same mistakes. Okay, forget the raid. I'll get someone to call them home. You just work on that inoculation. Don't make me regret this, 7-6. I think it's, it's time, time to pay, pay those, those settlers, settlers a visit. visit. Can't let, Can't them, let them miss me too, too much.
I'm all for taking what ain't mine. Gotta love getting stuff for free. <laughs> Good thing those settlers haven't learned that yet. You want to survive, you do what you gotta do. Those blood eagles are crazy, and people